Hello, everybody. My name is Melissa here from Abundant Life Studio. I'm going to be talking about some Canva hacks that you can use for your small business. I am streaming this through Zoom, so I can't see your comments. If you have any questions, let me know below and I will answer them when I jump off. If you're watching the replay, let me know you're watching the replay by commenting replay. And of course, uh, if you're watching live, let me know also. I'm just making sure I've got this to the correct page. I have streamed before to the wrong page, which is not great when you stream to a client's page. Let's have a look. Um, give me two secs. I just, yeah, awesome, awesome. We're on there. Okay. Rock stars. Here we go. I'm going to show you some really, I'm going to share my screen and show you some really cool Canva hacks that you need to know about in your small business because it just makes life a lot easier. Saves you money as well by doing these. And of course, um, yeah, a lot of other reasons. Okay, let's get started. Um, now, if you're watching this, as I said on the replay, um, and you happen to be on YouTube, make sure that you hit that subscription button. Uh, if you're watching on other platforms, make sure you follow for daily social media tips. I usually post a couple of times a day with a new tip. Not always videos, though. Could be just a, you know, a text-based post. But anyway, I'm going to share my screen. And I'm going to show you some Canva hacks that you may not have known about that will make your life a lot easier in your business. So let's go. Let's share the screen there. Now, do not look at all the tabs I have open because um, this is how I remember what I need to do. <laughs> My brain works a little bit like this as well. All right. Uh, I just opened Canva before. Okay. Now, some of these you can use with the free feature of Canva. Actually, I think all of them you can use with the free feature of Canva. How you know if you can't use it unless you upgrade is with this little crown here. So this, if you can see my cursor, this is the pro account. I have the pro account. I think it's like 17 US dollars a month. It's not much money. I think it's maybe, so that's about 24 Aussie dollars. Makes life so much easier. One of the paid versions is having a brand kit. I'll show you what that looks like. That makes it really quick and easy when you want to uh, do some more designs. Um, so these are all the, um, some of the, accounts I'm working with. Uh, I'll show you mine. So for example, you put your um, font in here and all your hex codes. That number that comes up when you hover over a color is called a hex code and identifies the colors. So my main colors for my business are probably these ones here. And then I've just got some sort of, you know, similar ones if I want to use as an accent or whatever, but it just, it just makes life a lot easier. Okay. So Canva hack. First of all, I want to show you, look at this. I want to show you how to do videos in here. So easy. Video short form content is really wild right now. It is, and it's the way social media is going. So if you're not doing short form content, you need to. You don't all have to do it in Canva. You can actually just record it on your phone and upload it. But if you want to make some in between uh, to save you recording, all you do is you go in and as you saw, I typed in um, the size, which is an Instagram reel. Now, <laughs> sorry, guys. I think I'm getting a little bit sick here, so I'm not, I'm not feeling too great today. It's been a mad 24 hours. Um, it went down and it went up in the most incredible way. Um, yeah, so I think my body's like in a bit of shock of, of the last 24 hours in a good way. But uh, yeah, so I just excuse me. I'm getting a bit of a sore throat there. So I typed in Instagram real size. And the reason why is I use this size because um, it fits on any other platform. So TikTok, Instagram, uh, Facebook, you know, whatever. If you use a different video size, it doesn't always fit. Now, if you don't have the pro account, you can't resize. If you do have the pro account, it's fine. You can resize your video and then you've just got to move it around to make it look okay once you resize it. But you just click on resize here. And um, you can either type in, um, you know, YouTube or, or whatever you want and then just resize it. It'll, it won't get rid of this design. It will um, populate it into, it'll open up another browser for you. Okay, so you can do, these are some of the free ones here. Um, if you didn't want to create your own video from scratch, you might want to see how this is a tutorial here, for example. 
Um, and then you can go and you can add, you know, any of these videos, change the text. It's really, really super easy to do. Or let's get rid of that. The other thing that I like, and I'm, this is a pro feature, I'm pretty sure, the templates up here on the left. We go into templates. Let's get out of that. Okay, my niche is social media. So let's type in social media marketing. And it gives you templates for that. So if I wanted to create a video here, so let's have a look at this one. I can drag and drop different um, pictures into here. If you ever delete something by accident, you just go up to this button here and just push that and it just goes back to the last one. Now, so um, I can put social media tips. Again, if I wanted to use my own font for my brand kit, which is a paid feature, you just go down and you select the brand that you're with. Um, so digital, let's say I'm doing Digital Queen's podcast today, which is another of my, my, my own brands. Um, that is the font for it. If I want to use the colors from that, I just click on that and here's Digital Queen's podcast and we go and we make it our own color. Now, if you wanted to add something extra, you can, you can add a second video there, go back to templates and, you know, you can add whatever. I'm going to show you something else really cool now. So that's my first little hack there. So quick and easy. Now, um, if you wanted to do what works really, really well, it doesn't really matter what business you're in. Anyone, everyone loves motivational quotes, you know, relaxation. Um, I might just type in, hang on, motivational quotes. Motivational. And what I really love about this is you can use any of these and just put your own quote or something that you've said. So I've just used that one here. Where's, why is that not coming across? So if I wanted to, I can apply all three pages there and then all three come up. I might just, uh, I won't play that because if that's not royalty free music, I'm actually going to put this video on onto YouTube and because I've monetized it, I can't, I won't play it because if the, if the, if it's not royalty free, then I'll get penalized by YouTube. Um, Okay, I might actually just turn the sound off just in case that actually accidentally plays. So you can go in there and you can change up this. You can put your logo, whatever you want. And there's a motivational video. You can go to the second one there if you want to adjust it really easy. I do this a bit. Um, oh, not a huge amount at the moment, actually, because I've got so much content. But I was doing this quite a lot when I was trying to fill in my posts. Um, really quick and easy way to do it. All right. So that's, that's a couple of little hacks there. Um, then I wanted to show you, I did a video on this the other day, but it, it got so many views. I thought I'm going to go do it again. Now, if you're on Pinterest and if you're not on Pinterest for business, you need to be, okay? Because it's a search engine. So it's not a social media platform. It's a search engine. So the more that you pin and if you use the correct terminology, what people are searching for on Google, you'll be indexed on Google. It's really a no-brainer. So now I'm looking at my account. Um, I don't have the biggest amount of followers on my account. I'll show you my views. So this is my account here. I've got 412 followers, but then you can actually see my traffic there is 26,000 views a month. That's the power of Pinterest, okay? I've only got 412 followers. It doesn't really matter about your followers. It's about the views on there. If you're getting views and you've got a call to action where people click through to a landing page, to your email list, to a free giveaway, to book with you, to book a free call, whatever it is, it is so smart to use. So make sure you use it. If you are on Pinterest, then you go into create design, put in Pinterest pin, and you can create different Pinterest pins on here. It's really quick and easy. If you've got the pro version, you just simply um, resize it if you want to use it for your other platforms. But um, if you don't, it, it doesn't matter. You can still do a Pinterest pin. Um, you can add again, you can go up to your templates. Let's add one in. Let's say we want to do this one. I want to add a second page there. Um, and but this time, so page two is blank, but I might, you know, go and see. Now, this is from the photo color. This is not a branding kit, but if you want to, you can use your brand kit and you can start to add things into your second page. You might have a call to action. Let me just type that in, uh, contact, contact us. You might put a contact us page in. Mm, does that look like, okay, obviously we don't want a real estate one, but this is how quick and easy it is to change it. I'm gonna change the blue to our brand kit. 
change the blue there. We might say do that one. Obviously, doesn't look that great, but um, we can. So then and let me just try. Yeah, yeah. So that's just got a picture there. So then we might want to go into uploads and put one of our own photos in it. Um, now, obviously, that's the wrong shape. I, mean, I just haven't got time to go and edit it, but you might be able to do that. Or I might change the background here. So if you want to change the white, I think it should be this one. Yeah. Um, and then you can just go replace these. Um, even if, like, so this is a website one here. So I might go into elements and I might type in website icon. And I might go and put, uh, say that in. And if I want to change the color, I can. I just drag and drop. This is how easy it is. If you're not on Canva, honestly, you need to get on Canva. It's crazy. So I might put that color in, for example. Now let's say, here's another really cool feature. Obviously this doesn't look good and I'm not going to call it real estate for sale. But let's say I want these three, um, these three icons here to line up. You simply... Uh, how do I hang on? I'll just get rid of that for a sec because sometimes it's easier. Stop it. It's my dog growling. So, okay. Now see how I've now highlighted the three of them. If I go up to here, the three dots, and I can group them, which means that now I can move them around as one. Okay. So if I want to ungroup, uh, it's really good if you're doing especially like, you know, number one, number two, number three, and you, you just want it to be all, you know, perfect you can even go to position and you can um, space evenly here so you can go vertically horizontally you know whatever um, see how it's done it because I clicked horizontal so let's get rid of that we'll go vertical um, I don't know why that's not working uh, let's try tidy up you can even tidy yep yeah, tidy that up and it just puts it all together for you now obviously that looks crap but you get you get the point of it now if I wanted to animate this I just click on the image and I can go into animate and all so I was going to bark in a minute all of these different um animations uh for the photo so if I want wipe or breathe it'll show you this one or, or whatever and you can adjust the intensity there as well how quickly it sort of you know transitions if you want to do the whole page you can do a whole page animation as well which is really cool you can apply to all pages there so it's going to go to these two here the other thing that you can do which you look they're all simple things but sometimes we just don't know you know these things you click on the image and you go flip you can flip it the other way as well you can flip it vertical which why would you do that um, if you wanted to remove the background, you've got that feature there. I think it's only a paid feature, uh, version though with the background remover. So I'll click on that. I'll just go into there. Background remover. Now I can also adjust the color of the photo here. If you don't have the pro version, you don't want to get the pro version. You can actually just type, open another browser, type in back, free background remover put your image in there, like download the image to your desktop, put it into there and you can actually remove the background for free. So you don't want to do that. So it's taking forever. Um, these are just some of my best Canva hacks that I love. And you can see now that that has removed the background. If I wanted to add a, a link to that, I can add a link here. Um, you can, oh, a simple one, position. So if I want to put this in the middle of the page and the center, it will um, do that for me. So let's say it's down there and I really just want that right in the center. I go center and also the middle. Or of course, you can move it to the bottom, top, etc. This one as well, I can adjust. Hang on, I'm just going to move that out for a sec so you can see it a bit better. I can adjust the intensity there. Transparency. I don't know. Why is that not working? Let's have a look at the background. See if I can adjust. No. Yeah, so you can adjust the intensity, which is really cool. Um, yeah, that's a really terrible design, but you get the idea. Um, the other thing I'll just quickly show you, I'm just going to delete that because I do have people that work, my team members that work in my Canva account, and I don't want them to think I've designed that. Oh, I'll show you the flat lays. Oh, my gosh, I love the flat lays. So, so I might just go back into that. I'll quickly just show you the flat lays. Okay, do you know what a flat lay is? So. Obviously, in photography, and they, they you, you'll see what I mean. If you don't know what it is, you'll see what I mean. So let's go into here. 
we go into elements and we type in flat lay and you'll see what I mean, flat lay. So I used this one in my client's account last night. So that's a clipboard. Um, and then you can actually go and put, a book. I put her book design on there, uh, flat lay, if you want to do a book. So then you can go and that's a flat lay and you can actually put your book cover on there or your face or whatever you want to do. Um, you could use, you know, one of that and put your book in there. It's pretty cool. Flat lay. What's the other one that I really like? Uh, iPad. Let's go to iPad. Um, you could do something like this as your design. And then in on the iPad there, which is really cool, you go and you put in your image. Obviously, you've got to adjust it to the size. So this is how you can do that. Pretty, pretty cool. Let's have a look. So it's so easy. I mean, I know there's a, I don't know, is there Adobe or whatever? I've never used it because I've never, never needed to. Uh, let's have a look. I'll show you that. Okay, so that's the iPad. Let's get rid of the background here. I just want to show you. So I'll just get rid of this. You can just flick that off. So now if you wanted to, that to look a little bit more 3D, you could even do things like um, you go into elements and you can type in shade or shadow, shading, whatever. Um, oh, well, this is a bit different, actually. This is not for 3D, but um, you could go in and you can add shading to your page. Now, if I want to change the color in that, actually, that's not going to let me, if, if you wanted to change the color, you simply just go and pick the color. Um, let me just go into shading. So you can actually get, is that one? This is with the pro account though. I just saw that. So if I put that, let me just get rid of this bottom one. If I put that there, just stretch it out to the size of the picture, like what it would be in real life. And then you go up to position and just go backwards. You keep clicking backwards and see how it goes behind. Yay. And look how cool that looks. It's just like a 3D. Yeah. It just makes it pop out a little bit more. So I did one of these uh, for my clients last night. She's launching a book. So um, I didn't do this background, but I had her book cover sitting on a wooden table and I had a pen I put a pen across it and then with the pen, you can actually um, make the pen look 3D by putting that underneath it as well. Um, but yeah, it's it's pretty, pretty easy to do. So, and if I want to copy that image, you literally just go copy, put your cursor where you want it and go paste. Oh, well, that didn't work, but there's a second one there if you if you see, see what I mean. Now, I, have, I haven't lined this up correctly, but you get the idea. I absolutely love the shading. So I've got my phone going crazy there. I absolutely love it. And I'm starting to use it for a lot of different things. Um, your photo section here is not photos that you've uploaded. Uh, oh, look at that. Magic recommendations. How cool is that? So you could even do like a, I wouldn't do it on this design, but like, you know, you could do something like that. Um, not with this, clearly, because that looks stupid. But um, let's just get rid of that. And if you want to put like, say, shading underneath the deck, look at that. Look how easy it is. Pretty cool, hey? And then you can build it up if you want with the background and, and make it a little bit more 3D. So they're probably my main tips that I wanted to show you on Canva. Um, it, it just makes life a lot easier. You can do, you can do PDFs on here. You can do... Um, your presentations you can do your you know your your what's that thing called uh, sorry i'm not i'm so tired today it's a presentation where you put it on the screen i can't think of the name and i'm sorry if you're commenting because i can't see the comments so um i don't know whatever you know when you do a presentation on your computer and you put it up on the screen and everyone watches it yeah you can do those on here whatever that's called um you can yeah there's so much and the other thing i just wanted to show you let me just delete that just going to go into LinkedIn. Give me two secs. So this, um, if you want, if you are on LinkedIn and you wanted to create something really cool on Canva for your LinkedIn account, I'm just going to get rid of that because I don't think that is the correct password. Um, 
give me two secs. I want to show you something really cool and then I'll let you go. So this is something that I create for my clients. Um, if you want to do like a scrollable, um, if you want to do like a scrollable uh, show, not show, I can't talk today. <laughs> It's not a show. Sorry. If you want to do like a scrollable image. Okay. So this is a, a new client of mine. Um, I've just updated the banner and this post here. I'll show, I'll show you what I mean. I'll show you what I mean. So it's probably better to look at this from a phone, to be honest, but um, you can actually make this scrollable. So on a phone, you can actually swipe through. So carousel post it's not the word I was looking for but that's what you can do on here and how you do that is when you go to download your items um so let's say we're in here and we want to make oh actually I'll just show you on my desktop don't look at my desktop uh well you're going to because you can see it square penny uh, I do need to clear this up I do need to clear it up I promise I will it's absolutely terrible so oh here so you download it as a PDF. This is what you were just looking at. You download it as a PDF document so that when you add it to LinkedIn, it, this doesn't work on any, because you can't upload PDFs on, why is that not opening? On, um, you can't download, put PDFs on Facebook, but you can do it on LinkedIn. And this is really, oh no, that's not it. Anyway, it yeah, it just looks like this. This is actually not mine. This is a checklist that they wrote, but just to show you, um, cause I couldn't find mine that what I just showed you that design that will, um, come up as a scrollable image. If you upload it as PDF, I could upload this as a PDF as well. And the checklist, uh, would then be scrollable. So that is another really, really cool feature. Um, as I said, if you don't have Canva pro, I highly recommend it because it is only, you know, like 17 us dollars. Um, so you can get it really, really reasonably priced. It'll save you so much money. I do my proposals through this. I do my, um, presentations. I do my marketing decks and everything through this. Um, and hang on, I'll show you that again. This is all through Canva. I know, I know this is bad. I know this is bad. Please don't look at it. I've got so many designs on here and I will get rid of them. So, Oh, these are some, okay, for example, I did all this in Canva. This is a free ebook. If you want my free ebook, make sure you click the, the link. There'll be a bio somewhere and it'll say 14 content ideas. So I wrote all of this in Canva um, and you just upload it. Instead of uploading a single image, you just upload it as a PDF. Then uh, I'll show you my marketing decks. I wrote all of these through here myself. So you don't need to go pay for any fancy. So you can see I've done the 3D thing here. This is just talking about, you know, if someone wants the business with me, sorry, to do business, you know, I'll send them this. And um, yeah, I do all of this through Canva. So I don't need to send this off and pay for it. I just do it myself. And if you don't have, look, not everyone has an eye for this sort of thing, but I promise you, if you get into Canva, you'll start to realize how easy it is. Like it is so easy and Canva was actually one of the owners is a Aussie lady and a really young girl actually she's quite young and she's Australia's first self-made billionaire so um, it's another reason to get onto Canva because she rocks for everything that she's designed and created with Canva like honestly I would definitely get on it so um, I'm not affiliated in any way guys so if you join up I'm not getting any kickbacks I just really like it and I just find it really really good for your business uh particularly small business so hopefully that was valuable to you if you have left a comment i will go back I'm, I'm streaming this through zoom i can't see your comments at the moment i will go back and i will read them and i will reply to you and of course if you haven't already make sure you follow if you're watching this on youtube make sure you hit that subscription button and um yeah i will see you guys next time happy friday uh when i'm recording this it is friday to go and action um but yeah if you've got any topics that you would like to see as well uh, just pop pop it in the comments and i can try and do a video on it for you so anyway do make sure you head over to youtube because that is a newish channel for me and i'm growing that i've just monetized it so i'm pretty excited about it but make sure you do go over and hit subscribe uh, social media help abundant life studio on youtube um because you can get all the replays of my recordings Okay, guys, until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.